Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing my second tutorial with the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette. I thought I would do a Valentine's Day look with this palette today just because a lot of the colors in here are great for Valentine's Day. So if you guys would like to see how to do this, just keep on watching and I'm gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial. I went ahead and filled in my brows, did my foundation and concealer and everything. And I also went ahead and primed my eyelids with this Kat Von D Locket Concealer in Whiteout. So any type of white eyeshadow base that you have, like the NYX eyeshadow, like Jumbo Pencil and Milk will work. Just anything like that. I just like to use this because it keeps my eyeshadows from creasing. Sometimes with that NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, it can crease. So sometimes you have to use like another primer underneath that. So this just is like one and done. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and did that. And I'm just gonna zoom you guys in. Whoop. I'm just using the Morphe E18 in this bright maroon color. Make sure you tap that brush off really good so you don't have any fallout. And then I'm just working that color in the outer V and in the crease of my eye. Which I didn't really mean for it to get on the lid there, but that's okay because I'm going to be using a different color. Just mainly want to keep it up in the crease and in the outer V. I just put some more of that maroon just on a shader brush and I'm just gonna pat that color here on the last half of the eyelid. Yeah, I might need to go back with some white and kind of touch that up because I don't know if it's gonna interfere with the color I'm gonna put on the front part of the lid. So if you can try to keep it off of your eyelid, it's best. I'm just going in with the shader brush and just patting that shade here on the outer part of the lid on this eye. And I just wanted to use that white eyeshadow base today just to make the colors that I'm using, especially the color I'm going to use on the inner part of the lid, just really stand out. So I'm just going in with a little bit more of that white concealer and just patting that here to make sure that that's gonna be white and bright for the color that I put on the front, front part of the lid. I mean, if you're careful with that darker color and don't get it on the lid, then you could totally skip this step, but since I wasn't, I'm going back to touch it up. And I'm just taking some more of that same color and the Morphe M213, and I'm just smudging that here on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna be using this purple and I'm gonna pat that color here on the front part of the eyelid. Okay, and then I'm taking some more of that purple and just blending it with that magenta color. Next I'm going in with a blending brush and this warm transition shade and I'm just going to use this color to blend out that magenta shade in the crease. I'm just going back in with some more of that magenta. Yeah, definitely make sure you tap your brush off really good. I'm just going in with this brush and just blending the edge. It's just the Sigma P80 brush. Then I'm just going back in with, with a little bit more of that magenta. And 
I'm just going in with the Morphe M213. And I'm gonna add some more of this light purple to the inner corner of my eye. Let's take it down here. Then for the waterline, I'm just going in with this NYX Slide On Glide On Pencil in Jewel. It's a really pretty like plum, like raisin, raisin plum color. For my liquid liner today, I'm going in with this e.l.f. liquid liner in plum. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to use this liquid liner because it's like drying up. I haven't used that in a while. So, instead of that, that would be a really pretty, pretty liquid liner though because it's like a little less intense than black. Which, I guess I could use brown. Maybe I'll do that instead of black. Um... I'm just gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen in uh, deep brown. Yeah, since that uh, e.l.f. one is not gonna work today, I need to buy a new one. And I don't even know if they still make that. For my mascara, I'm using the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade. I've been debating on whether I'm going to do false lashes with this look or not, so we'll just see what I decide after I get this mascara on. So I totally forgot how much I love this mascara, and I really like the way my lashes look, just the way that they are. So I'm not going to add false lashes today, but you totally could do that if you wanted to. I know some of you guys don't really like false lashes, so I like to do tutorials with them and without them, you know, just to give a variety for you all. But yeah, I really like the way they look today, so I'm not, I'm not going to put any on. I should have clipped it back today, but totally forgot to do that. Okay, for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with Lumi Bronze It. This is in the shade Light, and I have been in love with this bronzer. You guys are probably already getting sick of me using this because I've just been using it, using it in every single one of my tutorials and Get Ready With Me's, but I've just, I just love it so much. I mean, I still love my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and my NARS Laguna and my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. I mean, I still love all of those, but I've just been really into this one. And first, I'm just going in with a Morphe 437 brush, and then I'm going in with my Morphe R2. Just gonna blend up here around my hairline. Just blend that out. But yeah, I think this is a really pretty Valentine's Day look. Like. It had like it's pretty feminine and Valentine's Day type of colors, but it's not like the typical Valentine's Day, you know, makeup tutorial. So I hope that this tutorial is different enough than the first one I did with this palette. I feel like it is because I used, I mean, I used some of the same colors, but then I used that purple, which was different. And I didn't use like this shade up here or this dark brown like I did in the other tutorial. So. But yeah, I definitely want to do some more looks with that palette because it is just such a beautiful palette. So pretty. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this bronzer, put it here on my jawline and also on my neck. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips first before I do my blush so I know how much blush to put on. I feel like my brow is doing something weird. Um, but for for my lipstick today, I'm using the Rimmel Provoca Lips. It's been a while since I have used these, but these are really great. They're kind of like liquid lipsticks, but they're not as drying because you top them with like this glossy stuff after you put this on and after it dries down. Um, and it they last like they do not transfer in in a lot of ways I feel like these last even better than liquid lipsticks like you really have to scrub these off at the end of the day like they are no joke um, 
I'm debating on whether I wanted to line my lips first, but I think I am just gonna line my lips just a little bit, and I'm using my Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Epic. I just wanted to lightly line them to give them a little bit more like definition. And then I'm just gonna go in with this side. This is in the shade I'll Call You, which is a really pretty bright pink, perfect for Valentine's Day. But yeah, I just think it's a really cool look with this eyeshadow for Valentine's Day. Like it's different. If you didn't want to wear something as bright as this, you could totally do a nude and it would still be really pretty for Valentine's Day. But I just thought I would change it up today because I know I always do nude colors and I wanted to step outside of my box. Um, so once this dries down, then you go over top of it with the glossy side. And that's just gonna keep it hydrated and stay on all day long. Like, I mean, you can kind of see where my lip liner was, like that transferred, but the lipstick does not transfer. So this is also really great for Valentine's Day if you're gonna get smoochy with your significant other. For my blush, first I'm just gonna go in with the Milani Rose Powder Blush in Tea Rose. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that on at first. I just thought that this blush pairs nice with the lip color that I used. Then for my highlight today, I know it's so funny because whenever I did my declutter, I actually, this is one of the things I got rid of, but my mom, like a few days after that, my mom had a highlight on and I was like, oh my gosh, like what highlight are you using? And she said it was this. So I was like, okay, maybe I need to give that another shot. So I dug it back out and I have been using it and I do really like it. I don't know why I thought I didn't like it before. I guess because I had just stopped using it and I guess I just thought it was because it was a stick product. But this applies really nice over top of foundation and everything. Like it doesn't get clumpy. Um, the key is you need to apply it like with a brush and don't just like directly apply it, apply it to your face. So I'm just putting this on my Morphe M530 and then I'm just gonna lightly just brush it on my cheekbones. So as you can see, like it is a beautiful highlight and she wears like a lot of like really creamy type of products and she doesn't set her foundation with powder. Um, so it just looked, it looked so beautiful on her skin. Like it just looked like her skin was wet. Like it didn't even look like you know, how highlights normally look. Oh, and I totally forgot to tell you what shade this is in. This is in light 100 and it is the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick. Totally forgot to tell you what that was. <laughs> I wanted to mist my face with my makeup setting spray and this is just gonna ensure that your makeup is gonna last all day long or all night long, depending on what you're doing for Valentine's Day. Um, and I wanna kinda blend that out a little bit right there. Okay, so I'm just misting my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And then I'm just gonna let that dry. <laughs> and I'll be sure to link my other tutorial that I did using the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette. I feel like that look would also be a really pretty look for Valentine's Day as well. I feel like you could create a lot of really pretty Valentine's Day looks with this palette. So also let me know down in the comments if you would like to see some more tutorials with this. I hope that you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have a great Valentine's Day. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.